If you use a lot of data, you'll probably have a reasonable number of graphs. And if you don't animate them, you should definitely start. And it's easy. If someone's looking at a graph on their own, they have the luxury of time to examine all of it. They can look at the shape of the dataset first, then they'll probably be interested in what the values are, so they'll look at the labels and the axes, and then maybe go back to the quantities to try to work out what's going on in the data. And that's fine here, but you can't have them doing all of that while you're presenting, or they're trying to listen to an audio narration because you'll be trying to explain the really important thing about the graph and the implications of the data, and they'll miss all of that because they're looking all over the place. The answer is to animate your charts. Animating a live chart is a wonderfully easy process that is well worth doing. Click on your chart and select the Animation tab on the ribbon. Using the Add Animation function on the right-hand side, choose the type of animation you want. A green entrance animation is the most useful, and try to use only subtle effects such as fade, strips or wipes. Anything else usually becomes distracting. Once done, click on the Animation pane button, just to the right of Add Animation, which brings up this window on the right, and shows you a list of all of the animations on your slide. There's just one at the moment, which means that the entire graph animates in one go, which isn't ideal. To bring up each point in turn, click on the animation and select the Effect Options button in the ribbon. This gives you the choice to animate the chart by series, by category, or by individual elements for fine detail control. And now you'll see a little double drop-down arrow under the chart animation, which reveals the individual animations of each series or category. By default, they happen on a separate click, but by selecting any of them, you can choose whether they happen with the previous animation or after it. As long as there's at least one click to separate your axes from the dataset, it's up to you how many clicks you use. It really depends on your story and your flow.